Everyone's talking about the Fremantle Dockers right now. Six wins from seven games, third on the ladder. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, welcome. That win against the Cats, that was special. Yeah, it was. It was, yeah, it was a great effort. Um, it, you know, clearly a long road trip, one of the hardest um, for the WA clubs. Um, yeah, so to come back with the four points was, yeah, it was a great effort by the lads. You were down early. Most sides would probably be cooked after that in Geelong. How did you fight back? Yeah, I'd, ha I'd be lying. I uh, didn't say I was a little bit concerned in the box um, when we were yeah, three goals down. But um, the players just stuck to their task. Um, they recommitted to the contest and got on top in the contest. And that allowed us to get a bit of field position. And, yeah, we just pegged away at the scoreboard. Um, you know, the first quarter didn't go as planned, obviously, keep conceding 30 points. But from that point on, we were really strong in our brand. And, um, yeah, the players yeah, really fought it out well. How much is a win like that? in a place like Geelong worth to some of your younger players? Oh, I think it adds to the belief. Um, you know, every week's a challenge, though, and it probably doesn't mean much if we don't back it up this week. So that's the challenge. I um, mean, they keep coming in AFL footy. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves and can't get too comfortable. So, um, yeah, it should build belief, but um, our players are, you know, understand that we need to move on quickly. You are getting a lot of praise. The side is being described by some as desperate, frenetic and ruthless. How do you train a team to have that kind of desire? Oh, a lot goes into it. Yeah, training's one of it. Uh, one of those things, um, clearly. Um, we do a, we lot, do a lot of physical um, work and a lot of work on our tackling and a lot of work on all aspects of um, our contest. But... Um, I think it comes back to what we reward internally as well. Um, and our leaders are doing a fantastic job of rewarding um, those types of things that um, you know, breed that competitiveness. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a whole of club thing. We know you've got Lobb, Akers and Collier out with COVID already. Are there any more to add to that list? No, but we're still waiting on a, um, yeah, a few results, uh, test results to come back. So, yeah, we expect that list to grow, but... Um, how many we're unsure of at the moment. With no lob and no Tabana, will you be tempted maybe to debut Jai Amos? Oh, he'll come into consideration, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we're a bit short on, on tools at the moment. So, yeah, he'll, he'll come into consideration. Um, you know, we've still got a, a few options. So, yeah, selection's going to be interesting this week. Is Sean Darcy a lock to return? Uh, yeah, it's looking very positive at this stage. Uh, we still clearly need to wait to see him get through full training but as far as um, the protocols from the AFL he seems to have ticked every box and yeah we're confident he'll, he'll come back into the side. And Hayden Young and Heath Chapman are they going to be ready this week? Yeah yeah um, both have recovered really well so yeah you know they need to get through training and probably the most important thing is that they um, recover well from training but if they do yeah they'll come back into the side as well. What about Sam Sturt Justin is there any chance we'll see him at AFL level this week? Uh, there's, a, there's a chance, yeah. Um, and we're really happy with his progress, probably particularly over the last two or three weeks. He's, um, you know, I think his intensity um, is matching AFL levels um, at waffle level. So, yeah, he's, he's progressing really well. Um, whether we see him this week or not, um, yeah, he's on the right track. Just on the COVID cases, Justin, is there a chance that you'd have so many cases this week that you might need to call on the waffle list or is it not that bad? Oh, we don't think it's going to get that bad, but you never know with these sorts of things. They're so unpredictable. Um, we, yeah, we just need to really play it by ear and hopefully we've um, yeah, stopped it at a level that you know, we can manage it with our own list. Friday night footy against North Melbourne. Justin, good luck against the Roos. Thanks, Ryan.